The lesson is in full swing. Let's go get some A's. No, Casper. You are holding your pen wrong. I'm going to show you. Hold your pen like this. Now do it. But Casper is at it again. Let's try again, darling. It's no use. Casper has his own methods. But Miss Ashley knows what to do. We need some rubber bands. It's easy to secure the pen at the right angle with them. Now it'll stay on course. Keep going, Casper. You are doing great. And Molly is trying so hard today. She writes without stopping oh. all through class. Pencils and pens actually made her finger hurt. Blisters are a big deal. We need a soft pen. And it's very easy to make. Let's glue some fluffy fabric to the pen. Wrap it around all sides and glue it along the joint. Mmm, so soft. But we're not done. The pen needs to be decorated. Let's make a ball out of air dry modeling clay. And cute ears. This will be a cat. Let's make her a face. Add the eyes and the nose. And glue the fur to the tips of the ears. That looks perfect. It's not too hard to hold now. These are so soft. No more blisters on our fingers. Guys, look at the board. Unfortunately, Casper is no good with equations. Who needs math? Tim isn't struggling. With his super glasses, he can solve any equation. Help me out, Tim. You don't have to be a genius to become a great mathematician. Just color over the glasses with a red marker. Done! These glasses will help decode the cheat sheet. Write the formulas and sketch them in red. This is no cheat sheet for the teacher. Just a sheet of random scribbles. Nothing suspicious. Mm. Well done, guys. Way to go! Woohoo! It seems like someone forgot to do her hair this morning. Long hair is beautiful. But it's so uncomfortable. We should help Molly. But I don't have any hair clips, Andy. A pair of binder clips will do the trick. Molly, let us give you a nice hairstyle. Tuck your hair in at the sides and secure it with clips. Stylish and comfortable. We can get back to the lesson. And now, here's a super complicated task. Let's draw a perfect circle in the notebook. This is a tricky one. Especially when you don't have a compass. But hmm. Tim won't give up. A compass can be made out of whatever you have lying around. Take two pencils and a rubber band. Tie the pencils with the rubber band. Almost done. Put an eraser between the pencils. Mission accomplished. With this compass, it's easy to draw a perfect circle. Tim did it. Awesome. That idea deserves a high score. Wow. PE class is about to start. But first, height check. Only the strongest and bravest students are allowed to use this equipment. Molly wants to participate too. But she's not tall enough. I wish I were taller. But how can I make that happen in a couple of minutes? I have an idea. We need to update my favorite sneakers. Cut insoles out of rubber mats. The more the better. Now glue them to the sole. And our sneakers are growing right before our eyes. And Molly's getting taller. We got nice, soft shoes. And now, let's see if it worked. Height check passed. Molly must have eaten a lot of oatmeal. Then let's go to the gym. P.E. won't wait. You can't be 
beat math that easily. There is only one way out. A cheat sheet. Hmm. But where do you hide it? The most important secrets are always hidden in plain sight. This rule works for cheat sheets, too. Write down all the smart formulas on a transparent folder. Use a purple marker. Now put the purple paper in the folder. The new cover for the notebook is ready. Let's glue it on. And to see the formulas, insert a piece of white cardboard. This cardboard flashlight works wonders. It's time to start the test. Solve an equation? Easy! Take out the flashlight and get to work. And most importantly, the teacher won't even notice. It looks like an ordinary hmm. notebook. But it has a magic cover. You have to think a lot at school. No pencil can handle this much stress. Casper, pencils are not food. Miss Ashley, what else is there to chew on? Something else. Miss Ashley is going to show you. Let's just borrow a leg from the plastic baby. We remove everything we don't need and glue the heel to the pencil. That's it. Don't be sad, Casper. Here's your new pencil. So, are you going to chew it now? No way! Gnawing a doll's foot is so gross! And Casper is a serious student! Dirty shirts are every mother's worst nightmare! What's that, Molly? Mom, it was an accident! I swear! But you can't wash that off! So, we'll cover it up! Lay out the shirt on a piece of cardboard! Some acrylic paint and a brush will help us. A cute red fox will go over the stain. Get creative. Whatever it takes to hide the stain. Mix the paints to make it look 3D. And add layers of paint where the stain is visible. The head, the body, and the fluffy tail. Our fox is almost ready. Give it time to dry properly. And then we draw the face the nose, and the eyes. We are going to need black paint. We'll also use it to go over the outline. And let's make our fox bright. Let's add maximum color to the drawing. The print has to dry, and then you can try it on. Molly's updated shirt will make a real splash. Wow! wow. Tim is back for a retake of the test. What grade will he get this time? I hope we're lucky today. Or else my parents will be so mad. Tim, that's no good. You got an F again. That means you failed. We'll have to take extreme measures. It's easy to become an excellent student. A couple of strokes and an F becomes an A. No magic, just skills. My parents will be pleased. Wow. And I won't get punished. Everyone, be quiet. Molly's doing something here. But rainbows are so complicated. Nothing is turning out. Mom! What's wrong, honey? Oh, yes. This rainbow doesn't look so good. But Mom knows how to fix it. We can totally change this up. Let's take rainbow markers. We lay them out evenly in a row, and we tape them together. And now, let's check out the Mega Pen in action. It's great! Even a child can do it! This is for you, Molly! Wow. No problem with rainbows now! And you can draw so many other patterns! The potential is endless! And today in math, we are studying angles. It's so interesting and easy, but it's not for everyone. Miss Ashley seems to have tried so hard, all for nothing. But now she will explain everything with her hands. 30 degrees, 45, 60, and finally, a right angle. That makes sense now, doesn't it? Oh no! 
got even more confusing. It's all right. We'll explain on our fingers. And it's simple. Five fingers are five angles. Let's draw and sign them for clarity. Wow. Look at this, guys. Here are our angles. Now you try it. Wow! Turns out math can be interesting. All you have to do is trace your hand and find the secret angles. Drawing class doesn't always go according to plan. Casper needs to fix something. Where's the eraser? I must have left it at home. That's too bad. Mm. Molly, do you have an extra eraser? Anything for my desk mate. Use it, Casper. It's nice to have a good friend around. And anyone can make these eraser earrings. Let's take a couple of beautiful erasers. And here we go. Make a hole in each of them. And then we glue the hooks. Just let the earrings dry and try them on. Now the eraser is always on hand. Or rather, on the ears. The multiplication table seems so difficult. This is impossible to memorize. Don't even try to convince us otherwise. But Miss Ashley can make it simple. Let's take the first example to illustrate. Draw two vertical lines and one horizontal line. How many intersections do we have? That's right, two. There's our answer. Two times one equals two. Every kid can do their multiplication table now. And you won't have to think twice. What's two times two? Two vertical lines, two horizontal lines. We have four intersections. The answer is four. Tim is about to show what he can do. He has the hardest exercise. What is two times five? Lines will come to the rescue again. Count the intersections and we're done. The answer is 10. Well done, Tim. You get an A. Now that the kids have understood, it's time to move on to the hard part. How about this one? Oh no. How about we save it for next semester? 